And while I was there at the University of Washington, within months it became clear that there was a need to develop a more robust community in immunology. There were a number of people in different departments, in the Department of Pediatrics, <clears throat> in uh, Microbiology Department, in the Department of Medicine, who were interested in immunology, but there really wasn't a central focus. And I wanted to work to develop that central focus, and that led in a fairly short period of time uh, after the dean had done some searching for someone to come in and build it that led the dean to ask me if I would be willing to take over and build a new department of immunology, which was one of the first, maybe the first department of immunology ever at an academic medical center. And the argument that I made was that immunology at that point had acquired uh, its own set of tools and questions that were, were so distinctive um, that it really needed its own separate home. It, it, there was an interface between immunology, of course, and biochemistry, of course, and microbiology, uh, of course, other parts of, of the academic medical center, particularly clinically. But, but the language of, of immunology had become so specialized and so recondite. Uh, and and the, the questions that were addressed uh, were individually profound and had their own characteristics. Uh, and to me, that meant that the only way to successfully build a strong immunology program was to give it departmental status. We could spend a lot of time talking about what departments mean. Um, you know, departments are things that faculty members care about, certainly much more than students do. Um, but it, it was an opportunity to focus a lot of resources uh, that came through the university, through the dean's tax on clinical revenue, a little bit from the state and a little bit from the Howard Hughes Medical Institute because Howard Hughes, though they had taken the position that they, you know, if you were a Howard Hughes investigator, you shouldn't have significant administrative responsibilities. When I told them that I was considering this, they were willing to continue to support me as a Hughes investigator and have me chairman of the, be chairman of the Department of Immunology as well because <clears throat> at that time, they, you know, they said Max Cowan was then the head of uh, the Hughes Institute, and I'd known Max as a student because he was the chairman of the Department of Anatomy at Washington University when I was there. And, uh, and Max said, well, you know, it's a small little department. There's not much work to it. You know, you, you can go ahead and do this. So I did both of these things at the same time, uh, beginning, I guess, that was 1989 uh, when we began to build the Department of Immunology. And over a period then of a half dozen years, built a very substantive program in immunology. At the University of Washington, we're able to attract luminaries like Mike Bevan, uh, for example, from Scripps, uh, who has done enormously important work both before and after he arrived at the University of Washington. Pam Fink, who's now the editor of the Journal of Immunology, his wife uh, also joined us at the time. Sasha Rudensky, uh, who has since left and is uh, the head of the program at Memorial Sloan Kettering, you know, made very, very important uh, contributions uh, to understanding of, of antigen presentation and MHC. Uh, so uh, it was a chance to bring together a, a lot of gifted scientists who did really, really important work. Um, and and uh, that work goes on to this day, and the department is very much a, a going concern at the University of Washington, and I'm very proud of what the group was able to achieve there in bringing that together. Uh, and I think it's become a, an important part of the University of Washington. So. Uh, 